Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is a continuation of the Ezekiel series, chapter 3. The Watchman, the Watchman, the Warning of the Watchman. Verse 1. Moreover, he, well, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So he was supposed to eat the words of the Lord. Verse 2. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech, and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech, and of an hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. You know, if they're not going to listen to God, why are they going to listen to one of God's prophets, right? For they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Uh, I guess it's, be, you know, I, I wonder if that's a kind of like an illustration of beating your heads together. I don't know. Verse 9. As an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears. And go, get thee to them of the captivity... See, there's, they're, they're in the captivity, the Babylonian captivity. And go, get, to, get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Are they going to hear or are they going to ignore? Then the Spirit took me up, and I heard behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from this place. I heard also the noise of the wings of the living creatures that touched one another, and the noise of the wheels over against them, and a noise of a great rushing. So the Spirit lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterly, I went in bitterness, in the heat of my spirit, but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Abib, that dwelt by the river of Chebar, and I sat where they sat, and remained there astonished among them seven days. And it came to pass at the end of seven days, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, 
I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. Now a watchman, uh, perhaps you've heard of a watchman in a warehouse. They're looking for thieves, intruders. They're looking for uh, problems like, you know, a fire. Sort of like a guard with the military. Making sure the enemy's not sneaking, sneaking up on everybody while they're sleeping. I'll tell you what. If you were a watchman or a guard in the Roman army and they caught you sleeping, you know what the penalty was? Death. The U.S. Army, if you were caught sleeping on guard duty during wartime, penalty could also be death. Maybe not in peacetime, but in wartime, it was very serious. Very, very serious. A watchman's job was very serious. And God made Ezekiel a watchman to the house of Israel to give them a warning. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, no warning, nor speakest to them to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. In other words, you don't warn the evil ones what they're doing. They're going to pay the prophet that didn't do his job. He's going to bear punishment. Verse 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So, how would you like to die for somebody else's sin because you didn't warn them? Not a good place to be. Verse 20. Again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, in other words, the man trips over his own sin. That's what a stumbling block is. And I lay a stumbling block before him. He shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin, he shall surely live, because he is warned. Also thou hast delivered thy soul. And the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there as the glory which I saw by the river of Chibar, and I fell on my face. Then the Spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet and spake with me and said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thine house, but thou, O son of, uh, son of man, Behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to me a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So, here it is. He's going to be... Um, Basically, it sounds to me like he's going to be in like house arrest and he's not going to be able to speak. Verse 27. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. He that heareth, 
let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. And that's the end of part three. All blessing, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.